Would you rather have Kobe's career or Tim Duncan's career? Ooh, I mean, you know, I saw, I've seen all the stats on that, and that's, I mean, that's like six to half, one half dozen the other. Uh, let me let me just say this. I, I'll gladly raise my hand and say, hey, I'll take either. But oh. I tell you, the one thing was that Tim's career was a lot less turbulent. Yeah. There was a lot less drama, and that's exactly how Timmy wanted it. I'm not saying that Kobe wanted the drama, but a lot of times he was in it, he created it, and he stirred it up. I just got side by side comparisons with uh, Tim Duncan and Kobe Bryant. You got. Hmm. If you look at their regular season numbers, you know, Duncan played just uh, like 50, 50 more games than uh, Kobe did, but he shoots 50 from the floor. Kobe shot 44. Kobe averaged 25. Tim averaged 19. Tim averaged almost 11 rebounds. Kobe, five. Kobe averaged uh, a little more than one and a half assists more than, uh, than Duncan did. Duncan had two MVPs. Kobe had one. Postseason, Duncan has similar numbers. You know, still shooting. Fit. Yeah, they're both very similar in the postseason and both with five championships. So it's not like Kobe had those high, real highs with how he performed taking over games, scoring 50. You know, Duncan just sort of, you know, it, he knew it was a marathon here. Like Kobe played at times like it was a sprint. He was he was great in those those big spurts. Duncan was just more of methodical. Different type of torture with these two. Kobe's like a guillotine. Duncan is like water torture. Uh, bloop, bloop. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. 